it's in, in NA right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how it goes. I think Dula does really well in this matchup, though. I love his hat. <laughs> his hat is quite the hat. Not sure what his he's trying to broadcast with his hat, mm -hmm. but it does say <laughs> happens on it. And it is. And things happen. And it is something brown and swirly. But anyway, we're getting underway here. Sandula versus Dude. Field phase, just a little bit of projectile play coming out so far. I think this is a button check. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, Dula, Dula, that's not how Sceptile plays. <laughs> yeah. Dula's, Dula's no Stand new there. player. Stand there and then get hit. So we had a button check. <laughs> and if you're going to a tournament, always, always on the screen, just make sure you select your battle controller because a lot of people will go straight into it. They'll mm -hmm. set their controls but not do the select battle controller. Yeah. And then in the middle of like the game or character selection, they lose control of their character or just things happen. The game will pause for them and they can't play. And in a major tournament, oh, that's, that's huge. huge. And yeah. a lot like you get punished for it, and, you're, and you can't, you don't get it taken back. It's not going to help you. you. You get what you deserve. That was the that was the rule that was stated today as well. Is if that make sure that your controller and buttons are correct because it's on you. Once you start the match Absolutely. and you don't declare a button check, it is on you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are using a pro controller. Make sure you disconnect. Make sure you disconnect in any game, even on PS4. Make sure you disconnect your pad. Don't be that guy. Because <laughs> people won't be mad at the player. They'll be mad at you. But yeah, for sure. we are getting right into this now. I believe the button check is over. All right, see how it plays out. <laughs> nice little transition there from Pokin Arena. All right, a little bit of projectile play. See it seeing backwards. Dula playing safe, keeping his distance, trying to stay away from breaks in. Nice little backflip there. Going to get a little bit of damage off. Also winning first field phase. Breaks in generates synergy very fast, so winning field phase is very important in this matchup. Yeah, you get a lot of synergy from it. Sundula setting himself up here. And is going to come out, push him back just a little bit. And he punished by the Leech Seed. Ooh, nice TDC to grab. Dula right now dominating this match, doing an excellent job of just having good spacing. Yeah, I agree. That was really solid there. Tries to go for the Leaf Blade into Boomerang from Dude. Not going to get anything off of that, though. That Surprisingly, that side beam didn't shift. I thought that move pretty much always shifts. If you hit it on, not on shield, though. Oh, Dula just missing it. Snivy's going to anti-air and allow him to get the kill. Beautiful. Gets Tarzan. Dula taking the first round dominantly. Let's see how Dude is going to adapt. That was really, really solid gameplay from Sundula. He does have burst online right now. Looks like he tried to get a little bit of backflip, get some damage off. Dude having a hard time securing himself. He's gonna get the Emoga call. He's gonna get the counter. Now he's almost sitting on burst. Very, if he very can close do here. A few oh. more sunny days, he will have burst. Yeah, he's also gonna get that attack buff, which is gonna be pretty huge here. Nice job getting the vulnerable frames. Big combo coming out from Sundula. He does get the wall splat. Going straight for the shift. No resets. Almost 25% of dude's health is gone here. Does just barely not get all the hits of Boomerang, which would have shield shift, I believe. No shift still. And I think this is kind of where dude wants to be right now. He wants to be in field phase. He knows that Sundula is going to capitalize on a lot of attacks here in duel. Especially if Sundula is slowed down in field phase, Bracing can easily apply a lot of pressure, and Sceptile has to hold it at mid-range. Nice, Lapras. That was a big chunk of damage. All right, activating burst here for both players. A little bit of footsie play. Oh, Dula getting caught. That was actually pretty surprising. Ooh. This is very good for Dula because now he doesn't have to worry about Dude using his burst. Right, but he did get a little bit of chip off on Sundula. And his burst is starting to run out here, but beautiful Leech Seed. Oh, no actual confirm, but he did get the shift and close the gap, and that's going to take the first game. That was really, really solid gameplay coming up from Sundula. He capitalized a lot on the issues that dude was having, not getting the full combos, not getting those conversions that he really needed. And I feel like that's where he took the lead. First, first round was really solid, really dominant. What do you feel like Dude can do in the second game? I think Dude needs to play a little more patient and be more aware of his spacing, because right now he's throwing out a lot of counters and just kind of 
just throwing out attacks instead of like putting like thought behind the way Dula is playing. Because Dula isn't there's multiple sceptile playstyles, which is really cool about the character. Dula is playing aggressive right now. He's not going for resets, he's going for shift. He's trying to get maximum synergy, maximum damage. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like we are having a little bit of trouble here. All right, well, he does get the leech seed, sets himself up. Missing the Giga Drain. Uh, Dude landing the counter <laughs> into, a Molga. into a Molga. Misses the boomerang, though. All right, tries to go for it again. Nice Ooh. job. Releasing counter a little bit too early and is going to get stuffed by the JX. He does get the wall splat, though, so that's still a good amount of damage. Trying to go for a bit of poke here. And we can see a bit of a different dude here in this second game. Dude seems like he's got a little bit of a down, a little bit of a lead. That is going to catch. But not a whole lot of damage. The damage is, I think, a little bit less important, and it's the fact of he can set up his traps because he needs time to set up traps in field phase, and as long as he does, he can get a lot of mileage out of it. Big damage from Sundula. Does he get it? He does. What beautiful combo. Just like that. As soon as he got the Snivy, the traps just... That's all just he needed. Gave him the round. Yeah, you can see Sundula's pretty patient in how he approaches the situation. He's aggressive, but patient at the same time. Right, exactly. Like, he, he knows when he can and cannot throw out traps. Gets the swing. Fennekin coming out here. Just a little bit of damage, not a whole lot, but the pushback is what's important. The pushback is important. It deleted the Leech Seed. Ooh, nice ADC in the grab. A little bit of damage. Septile. About, about equal. Both these characters have some of the best CADCs in the game. Septile having arguably the best dash due to <laughs> its cancelability and speed. I agree. And he is a speed type, so that's going to be in his favor if he can get a few more setups. Maybe a little bit tricky play, you know? Mind gaming. That's pretty big. I think a lot of Septile players do use mind games a lot. There's a lot of cancels from 5x into dash backs, dash forwards into grabs. And because his dash is so fast, it's really hard to react. You have to kind of read what Septile is going to do. Going for the shield break, but Sundula is going to jump over the boomerang and punish with a BNB. <laughs> a bed and breakfast? Whatever you need. <laughs> I'm just... I am a fan of breakfast. <laughs> My bullet seed just going to get a little bit more chip off. Oh, beating out the Fennekin. It's very smart. Lapras going to push right through, applying more pressure and chip. All right, CDC's around the bullet seed. Gets in the boomerang. Ten seconds left on the clock. This is Dude's moment. He has to come back here, but the burst from Sundula might do it. Dula just patiently seeing what Dude was going to do in that field phase. That is yep. going to punish. Dula is going to take it 2-0 over Dude. That was really, really solid. He was super patient. He had the lead, and all he really had to do was sit back and wait for that clock to run out. Dude, being in a bad situation, had to make a move. So that was perfect for Sundula to do any kind of move and just keep him out. One of the things that a lot of players, I think, need to do more that Dula displayed really well is when breaks and bursts it in field phase, instead of him immediately saying,